it's me, Alex, and everyone's favorite bird, Archie. Hey, Bubba. Mwah. Today we have a cute little video for you. Sorry, I didn't mean to smack you. Just a quick one because I'm about to fly to Melbourne. My best friend is getting married down there and I'm not gonna be online for a couple of days. So I thought I'll do a video to tie you guys over. You know, you all need your pastel fix for the next few days. So today's video, as you already know, is a little pusheen haul. So in Australia, we have the shop called Zing and Zing is a pop culture store and it's a franchise that belongs to EB Games. So EB is like a massive gaming distributor and they have this pop culture store and they have every everything in that store. They've got Pokemon, Harry Potter, Doctor Who, Game of Thrones, everything. And recently they've started selling pushing. And every couple of days, I'm not kidding, every couple of days I walk past and I go in to see what they have because they get new stock all the time. They have a gigantic range on their website, but in store they also have a whole bunch of cute stuff too. So in this video, I'm going to show you what I bought the other day. And then I'm going to show you a couple of the things that I have already bought. So without further ado, let's get into it. What is it, Baba? What is it? Is there anything green in there? We're about to find out. Please do not poo on me. I need to wear these clothes to the airport. All right, let's get inside. Sorry, I completely forgot. Oh no, 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 no. Don't, don't destroy the pom-poms. Okay, pom-poms are coming off. It's not safe. It's dark and difficult times with this bird around. Not all of this is from Zine. Some of it is from a shop called JJ's, and JJ's is what I assume to be the Australian version of Hot Topic. What's in there? So the first couple of things that I got, these are from JJ's. They are pushing pencil cases. So the first one is super fancy, and it's pink, so obviously I had to get it. And I wasn't going to buy this one because, the, you know, I thought I only have use for one. But when I went up to the counter, the girl said to me, oh, by the way, if you buy two, you'll get the second one half price. And y'all know I'm a sucker for sales. So <laughs> I went back and got the blue one too. So the blue one is, I'm busy. I don't even know what I'm gonna do with them, but I saw them and I knew that I had to have them. They were $15 each, but with that sale, it, you know, it's, uh, I don't mind paying that much. Now this is from Zing. I'm so excited about this. It's a little pushing keep cup. Here comes Archie. On the side, we've got a magical unicorn pushing, and you might remember that I had this little fellow on my nails for a while. As you can probably tell, it is sparkly and glittery. Now, I would have absolutely loved it if it was pink, but I'm still going to love and treasure it even though it's blue. Hey, uh, no, this isn't for you. No, sorry. The next thing, which is also from Zing, is actually nothing to do with pushing, but I know that a lot of you will be able to appreciate this. It is Evie! And it's a hairbrush. Yes! How cool is that? Oh, look, I just, I had to buy it. I saw it. I was there for pushing. I saw Evie. There was no stopping me. I had to get it. And the last thing I got from Zing was this. This is a cute little pouch basically for traveling for your travel cards and stuff so in australia we have an opal card which is our travel card that you swipe onto the buses with so there's little pusheen on a little bike doing his thing and that's just oh, it's just so cute and it was 12 dollars, so i had to buy that too now that's all from zing but there's also two more things from jj's and they are shirts whoa 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 shirt number one is white i love kitties how cute is that? This is made of a really nice material. This is super soft. Like, oh, I just want to sleep on it. It's so nice. Uh, and the second one is pink. Yes, it is perfect. That was just too adorable to refuse. So in the very bottom of the bag, I have something exciting. Nothing to do with pushing, but I was walking past a Korean beauty store on my way out of the shopping center after buying all the pushing things and I spotted these and they were on sale. So I bought a couple of them and they are Etude House eyeshadows and they're in dark colors. Unfortunately, the ones that were on sale were not pastel, but they're sort of, there's a mix of neutral kind of tones 
and I have oh, I have all of these myself already. I bought them in Japan and I think I paid about $15 or something for each of them. So I got all of these quite cheap and I decided I would grab them and do a little giveaway for anyone that is actually watching this video all the way through. I know a lot of people skip videos sure. and stuff. So for those of you, you know, those OG subscribers, the real MVPs. Maybe I should call it MVV, Most Valued Viewers, because you actually watch all these videos all the way through. Basically, leave me a comment down below and tell me, just say, my favorite Pusheen thing was, and tell me which one, and if you say it just like that, if you say, my favorite Pusheen thing was, and then say it, I will know that you've entered my secret giveaway because you actually watched the whole thing, and you love me, and I love you, and we all love Archie. <laughs> I've got one, two, three, five Etude House eyeshadows. So drop that little comment down below and I'm gonna pick someone in like a week's time and I will post out these cute little Etude House eyeshadows. Oh, there's something I forgot. And I forgot about this because it's the only thing that I took out of the bag because I had to start using it immediately. And some of you may have already seen this on my Instagram story. The Pusheen doormat. And there's Archie. Isn't that so cute? I was walking out of the store and I spotted it on the ground and I was like... MINE! Now that we've gone through my new things, I'll show you some of my old things. Some of you may have seen these on Instagram, but I have some cute little Pusheen corn socks. I have these in blue as well, and the blue ones I think they have Pusheen mermaids on them, but I can't find them anywhere, so I, I could only find the pink ones. I got them, they were quite cheap. I think they were $8 for a pair. So I might grab a couple of these and then post them out in some giveaways. The next thing I have is this adorable, oh. This adorable little mug, isn't it so cute? I've actually never used it to drink out of because it's too cute. Are you one of those people that's a bit like me and if something is too nice, you just don't want to use it? Yeah, I've, I've never used this for drinking. I use it to store pens and stuff in. I have another keep cup, which is Hi, hi, and bye, and hi, and bye, and hi. You get the point. Isn't that cute? That's just made of plastic. The other one is made of ceramic. I absolutely love this. This is featured in a couple of Instagram posts too. Don't put any holes in that, please. The next one is my color changing Pusheen mug. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to make it change color just by touching it. Do you actually do an investigate? Let's see, maybe? No my hands aren't hot enough. I do have a video on my Instagram of this changing colour. It goes light blue and Pusheen is actually at the beach. So when you pour hot things into it, Pusheen is suddenly sitting on the beach and it goes light blue and it's really, really cute. I have these cute little lunch boxes that I featured on my Instagram the other day and people went nuts for. There's a, I think that's meant to be Pusheen's little brother. Pusheen corn, another unicorn Pusheen. So basically they all fit into each other, these little lunch boxes, so they're adorable. I actually only bought them because I wanted to use them as props in my photos. Last but not least, I have this gigantic Pusheen duffel bag, and this was my present to myself for Christmas, and I absolutely love it. How cute is that? It's Pusheen eating cookies and Pusheen mermaids and... Oh, it's just adorable. Okay, that's just a quick little video of all of my Pusheen goodies. I will put the links to these down below. If you're in Australia, you will probably easily be able to buy them from the stores that I link you to. But if you're not in Australia, just copy the name of it and just Google it and you will definitely be able to find the products. There are so many stores that sell Pusheen. So I'll list them all down below. And if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And maybe if you want to see some more Green Bird, maybe give us a little subscribe too. I do monthly giveaways. Actually, it's kind of weekly at this point. <laughs> I'm all about giving back to you guys. I'm hoping to reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year. I know that's a massive goal, but because of Archie and everyone loves birds, I reckon we can do it. And when I do hit 100,000 subscribers, I'm going to fly someone to Japan with a friend. That's like always been a dream of mine. I love doing nice things for other people and Honestly, who doesn't want to go to Japan? When I hit that 100k one day, I'm going to fly someone to Japan. So don't forget to hit that subscribe button and maybe even turn on the bell notifications so you know every time Archie and I post a video. Is that right? Is that right? Oh, is that right? Thank you so much for watching. I am sorry that I won't be active for the next few days, but please don't forget about me. Please. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Mwah! So I arrived in Melbourne and I've just checked into my hotel and while I was waiting for the check-in to open, I did just, just a tiny little bit of shopping. Just a little bit, you know, not, not too much. Just, just a couple of little things. And I thought I'd show you because this video is a push-in haul and it, it was going to end because that was everything that I had, but I've since bought more push-in things. So I thought I'd show you. <laughs>
<laughs> so uh, let's have a look. Don't you love the feeling of a brand new fresh hotel room like right before you jump into the bed and mess it up? So I already set out some flat lays to take some photos for Instagram. This is what I've been traveling with. I have this cute little Sailor Moon bag. I have my little Pusheen duffel bag that you already saw earlier in the video. I have a cute little peachy phone case from my store. I just bought these headphones from Target because they were the cutest ones that I could find. I'm not that impressed by them, but you know, they're, they're cute and that's all that matters. Uh, I got this from a shop called Sports Girl. I put a poll up on my Instagram actually a little while ago and I was like, should I buy this? And heaps of people voted yes, so that's why I got that. As you would have seen earlier, I have my little Pusheen travel case. And in Sydney, we use an Opal card, but in Melbourne, they use this thing called a MyKey. So that little case has come in handy, being able to carry both of those. <laughs> I'm so happy with this purchase. Like, this is probably one of the cutest things I will ever have in my handbag. Uh, I just bought this from a Korean beauty store that I walked past. And this is a little hairbrush that I got in Japan years ago. And this, I want to show you this. Now this place, Studio K, is a Korean fashion shop. They don't have an onli online store, but they've got this kitsch place and Studio K dot Mel, as in Melbourne. This place had the most beautiful clothes and I was in a hurry so I couldn't try anything on but I kept the business card because I really want to go there. They don't have an online store and I'm devastated because their stuff is beautiful. I also went to Supre and I only got a couple of things. I went to buy a few more things but I'm actually a little bit heavier than I usually am and I didn't fit into anything and I didn't want to buy it because I don't like to buy clothes when I'm not at my normal weight. So um, I just got this cute t-shirt with a, a fuzzy little peach on it. And I got these cute socks with little pearls. And these, these are from some cute little artsy fashion store. They were $25, but they're like plastic acrylic peach earrings. And I'm so chuffed about those, like putting those together and then getting my phone case. It doesn't get much better than that. <laughs> and here's my little bag of pushing goodies. So we'll get right into that now. First of all, look at this. This is, um, so as I told you already, my bestie is getting married and this is my little um, hen's night jewelry. Isn't it cute? I walked past this adorable little, um, I guess kind of like an Asian knickknack store and they, I couldn't believe my life. They had Totoro, they had Pusheen, they had Pokemon, they had literally everything. Uh, it was a little bit expensive though, so I restrained myself. I didn't get as much as I was going to. But the first thing I got, I'm so excited about this. This is adorable. Probably paid a little bit too much for it. I could not believe my luck when I found this. It's a little bit late because Christmas is over, but it's a Pusheen Christmas tree decoration. How cute is that? Look, isn't that adorable? It's a Pusheen unicorn. He's like solid. I think he's made of ceramic. He's not plastic, like he's really heavy. I love it so much. The next thing that I got is classic me. Like I need any more of these but it's another Pusheen drinking cup. It's got all sorts of little Pusheen goodness all over. Isn't that super cute? So I'll use that for iced drinks, milkshakes, all that sort of thing. The next thing is something I've wanted for ages. It's another Keep Cup. Cat Pushino. I just love the idea of the Cat Pushino like that. I love puns, I live for puns and that's kind of funny, right? It's Cat Pushino. And the last Pusheen thing is a little Pusheen pen. Isn't it cute? It's got a little Pusheen hanging off. It's 2016 Pusheen Corp. So I don't know if you'd be able to buy this online, but that's super cute. Little Pusheen with ice creams and cookies, milkshakes. That's right up my alley, I love it. And the last thing that I got is really fitting, and I wasn't gonna buy it, but those of you that checked my story, you might've seen that Sugar Pill launched a collab with Little Twin Stars and I had a whole bunch of DMs asking me to buy the collection and review it. So I bought four of them, one for me, and I might do a giveaway and give a couple away. We'll see. But uh, anyway, so in the spirit of the Sugar Pill Little Twin Stars collab, I also bought this. This is a Little Twin Stars thermos. So it's in this nice box. I haven't opened it yet. I didn't even open it in the store. I don't actually know what it looks like, but I saw the box and I was like, whatever that is, I have to have it. It's so cute. So I think it's like a lunch thermos. So you can keep, you know, like in, in Japan, school kids would take curry or they'd take, you know, different sort of hot foods in one of these. It's just so cute. Look, I'll give you another view of it. Welcome to the land of Kiki and Lala. So this is gonna match the makeup collection that I bought. I'm so excited. 
I don't know if I'm actually going to use it or if I'll just keep it sitting on the shelf. I have this terrible habit of buying cute things and only ever putting them on a shelf and that's all I do with it. But I ain't even mad. I'm more than happy to just keep that on a shelf looking cute. Super chuffed because I got this little Twin Stars mirror when I was in Japan a couple of years ago. So this has been one of my favourite possessions for a long time. It's just adorable. And now I've got this to match this and I will soon have a makeup collection sitting right next to it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like my little pushing collection because I love it so much. <laughs> Thank you so much and I will see you next time. Mwah!